So here we go, folks, and we'll have to go to the list, but I've got them marked here. Basically, I went and put a little yellow mark on paint here above each one of the magneticals. There, there, and just not to mess up the shot so you know that I don't really want to mess with anything. And then I got a map, but basically this should be Pleiades down here, so we need to find a map in the future on NASA to take a look at that. In a future video, I'll kind of pick apart on that. And we'll be able to even take a fresher shot of Pleiades, and basically you can somewhat see Pleiades today on... Uh, on a shot. But staying here real fast, basically you can see I got this planet here found, that planet there found. Now this should more than likely, this is no surprise, I'm pretty darn sure that this is po quite possibly Saturn right here. Because it's a far out, uh, and then Jupiter's no problem here. Uh, we do have this planet down here, below Jupiter. Now Mercury's not in this shot, and the last time we saw Mercury, just remember Mercury was up over here, so basically Mercury is basically Merc. Okay, I won't be able to write on the outside, but basically Mercury is over here somewhere a little bit out of the shot because it just recently left being able to be seen in because they're having to keep the satellite back to be able to see this. Now let me zoom in on this and you probably don't know, well, you don't even have any really pencil marks out there. Yeah, I do. I've got all kinds of marks that basically I went ahead and then we got a planet here somewhere in this line above that. Okay. Even if you, someone wants to say that that's not there, but you can really see it when you blow it up good. We've got these planets here. You got this. And then you got that. That's a planet. That's on a magnetical. And if you don't believe me, I'll pump it up to like 800. I don't know if I'm going to be... See, that, that's the problem. I don't think I can stay... Well, would I stay over there when I do that? I think I can stay over in the whole picture. And go down, and there's the magnetical line. And it goes right to that planet right there. You can follow the magnetic line up and it matches. And actually there's a little bit of magnetic line here also that you can see through the satellite a little bit when you zoom in when I'm in this much at 800. So there's something else possibly too. It's just going to get lost up here but no matter what that planet there is tied to this magnetic here. And then you can see this stuff better. I'm going to go over to the, the actual picture and get away. See how it gets pixelized when I get to the in here to the let me go down this one here. I got this planet here. That's this should be Saturn, more than likely. I'm figuring. Really figure that that's Saturn, because it's the next biggest thing that's in our solar system, and we already got Jupiter marked and laser. And I don't understand why they don't just go ahead and mark it out and say that that's what that is. Otherwise, we found more planets. I mean, if that isn't, if some of these aren't what we're thinking, and then I kind of was thinking that this could be, but I really doubt that that's Mercury. I don't think it can move that much, that fast. But since it's got a smaller, uh, you know, it's a tight rotation to the sun, it's the only thing. But I don't see how it could all of a sudden just bounce down there. Because like I say, the last time, as we come down here, you got Jupiter, and you got that. And I just don't see how it could be, and I got that marked as map, so that the idea that, you know, this should be Pleiades up there behind Earth. And then you got Venus, it's on this magnetic line. And you do all the counting, and then we go across, and you're going to end up, I think, with nine on here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Three. Okay, there's four. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine. Three. And I know it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we got nine for sure. Now, the one thing is Mars is not here. Okay? So let me pull the list up. So remember, Mars ain't in the shot. Okay? We got Earth in the shot. Mercury, you basically had to forget about that because Mercury's way over on the side. Okay? So then basically, the only thing that we can really see, four, five, six, seven, eight, our eight planets that we know of, okay? So then we go with Neptune and Uranus and Pluto being the farthest off. So we're going to say that they're the far off. And Saturn, we're just going to say the big one in the middle is Saturn. So no matter what, we're going to go mark that on our map. And you can even see Saturn from a long ways off. I'm even going to mark it, and if I screwed up, I screwed up. But I'm pretty sure that that's more than likely Saturn right there. Now let's zoom in and see what we think. 
because I, you know, well, I can even make it smaller. So anyway, go there, and we'll draw down a little bit, and on our map, that's more than likely Saturn. Pretty easy to pick out, even from a long way away, and I didn't do any practice in trying to get it. Okay? And then we're staying with magnetical lines. We're not looking at it. We're just basically, there's magneticals, okay? There's lines to it. Now this down here, what would be the next closest thing to Jupiter? Now, this possibly could be Saturn, but I'm sticking with this to be Saturn because the idea that it's the next biggest thing to Jupiter that we see. Now, the next biggest thing that we would know of, forget it, remember, absolutely not Mars, absolutely not Venus, a duh, and absolutely not. So what the hell is it? Because we've already got, so Earth and Saturn and Jupiter and Neptune are all accounted for. I mean, sorry about the thing the Neptune, okay? So we spread this out. So basically, we're looking for Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto, okay? So as we got this all accounted for, Mercury's not in the shot, Mars is not in the shot, you know, absolutely can't be in the shot. And if you realize the file name, I had to take the dashes out of there, and I think I put zoo in or something like that or whatever. But anyway, that's this is the p picture that, I, that I'm shooting off of. And I could take any one from the 14th, pretty much, and you see this stuff. I've looked at the magneticals. They're all there. All those magnetical lines are there. And basically what I'll do real fast here to prove it to you is I'll just pop up to 400. And you can just go along the top and count the magneticals. And I've done it plenty of times. And I marked it all on the paint. It's easy to see on the paint. But you can see these magneticals. You can see the three over there. Okay. You can pretty much see that one there. You can pop in it a higher number and you can see it. You can see this one here. Okay. Where my pointer's at. You can see that magnetical there. You can see that magnetical there. You can also see this magnetical here. This one. And then these two. So it all adds up. So we pop back down to just like a, we can go ahead, we can go to 200. And all this stuff's there. Okay? So we know this is all accountable for. What we're kind of really interested in is what the hell is this? Could Mercury drop? And I can't. It's been up here by Earth and Venus before being shot. How can it just drop all the way down there? Even if it's in front of, because you understand, we understand that this could be in front of Venus. It doesn't really matter on that. But that's not Pluto. Okay? And it's not Neptune. And now we're going to go to Neptune. Uh, and it's not Uranus. So we're going to go to, and basically, then the, the, is this Saturn? I think that's, that's pretty much damn well Saturn. Okay? And we've got that, just we're going to stay with the painting that we've got pretty much all that marked. And then we go in here and I just basically get my map. The easiest thing to do is just go ahead and go to this. Because you'll remember that Ison's coming in. And remember, all these positions are going to change over time and everything like that. So, basically looking real fast that Saturn's going to be directly out there. Pretty much, very easily, we got Saturn figured out. We know all these planets. We know Mercury's out of the way, and we know Mars is out of the way on being able to see it right now. Okay. Basically, even Mercury could be somehow be goofily but directly behind Venus that you can't see it from the camera angle, but I really kind of doubt it. Okay, So what we're interested in is Neptune and Uranus over here. So then basically what we'll do is we'll blow up on that and get our plot map on that a little bit and then realize that when you come from the box here that Uranus and Pluto, Pluto's got the farthest outside so we're going to take the farthest object and call it Pluto. Uranus is going to be on the inside and Neptune is going to be on the middle. So, because basically it's just that box is blown up over here. This is this down in this hole and the sun is in the center of the hole in the center of this hole right on that line because basically it's going to go, Ison's going to go around the sun, okay? going to be seen in the sky for more than two years. So basically we'll use DA14 for looking at, because basically we know DA14 basically has always orbited Earth, okay, and they've known about it. And just basically watch all my videos and I'll, I'll keep on hammering in, in DA14. It's going to be coming around in February 13th through the 16th, okay, the closest thing ever. Okay, now what we're going to do is we already know about Jupiter, okay, Pluto, Okay, so let's go take a look at where Pluto's at when we're looking at our camera. Okay, because we know 
I can see Earth and Mars, okay? We, we ain't can see in Mars from our shot. We know that. So I can get this a little bit tilted like this. Just remember Pluto is right there by DA14 where the numbers are at, okay? High. So I go like this, and we try to figure where the camera's shooting at somewhat from the sun. The sun's directly in the middle, okay? So we know we're getting Earth. We know we don't get Mars from the shot. So basically, it's shooting from a back around where, where, Merc where Mars is at, okay? So basically, you just figure that the camera-wise, and this is off of A that it's shooting, so basically, it's the other side, because basically, oh yeah, the camera's kind of shooting at this angle here. So you get Venus, Jupiter, and so forth. So then we got to go looking around for where the heck is, what the heck, Saturn is over there to the right, okay? So you kind of flip this around, because you know that basically no matter what, they're looking at the planets like this, where Venus is close to Earth, Jupiter. So this is kind of like what the shots is. So basically, Saturn should be not even possibly in the flipping shot, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? But when I finally play around with it, you basically could get Saturn and Uranus. And Saturn would be somewhat low. Okay? But Uranus is going to be high. Okay? And also Neptune can be in the shot too. I'm going to twirl around real fast. I don't know if i got Neptune that will show up. But I had it a minute ago. And I'm not worried about it too, too much. But Neptune can be in the shot. Okay? And I'm not sure if it's over here high or low. If I do this. And I'm trying to remember where the heck I had Neptune at. But basically... Neptune, Pluto, and Uranus could be in the shot. Uranus being high. So we're going to play planet bingo, ladies and gentlemen. And there's no money being exchanged here, but basically people are going to call in and say what they think that something could be. Because we already know that we absolutely forget about Mercury, okay? Because we know it's pretty much hidden behind the lens here. We know we ain't got Mars in the shot. We know that basically Uranus, Pluto, but then we'll play the number game. So basically I'll have Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto marked here on our painting map. And basically we just go with the configuration like this. And then you guys can go ahead and give in your numbers guesses on these things, okay? Because basically I've got Neptune. Uranus is basically number one, okay? And Pluto is the small little bugger up there. Neptune's right here, okay? I'm going to underline Neptune and point to it. It's pretty much right there. Okay? And I got a little red undermarking on it. Okay? And then, so basically, we end up with our two, because I can basically make a little red mark that basically right underneath the yellow that I did on the magneticals. And I can zoom in. And we've got two planets that we don't know what the heck they are. And you're going to get to give me guesses. And you're going to name it five and six. Okay? And basically, uh, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so you're gonna name five and six. Okay, because no matter what, five. And I'm gonna save some tape time here real fast. Because basically, we just go with the factual that we know that the Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto would be this, the farthest things away. So that's our planets over there, to the left. And basically, I can take it up. And go up the side here, and basically one, two, three, and that's our magneticals. And we come down. Pluto's up there, right there, somewhere on that little faint line. And then down here we have Neptune there, and then Uranus down here. Okay. So then I take the map back in real fast. Should be able to get it back in real fast, and get it somewhat out. And then we're looking for five and six because basically this is down here. Okay. Because we know three is Saturn in the middle. That's the long one way in the middle, okay? But five and six, there's six. And I think again on the location, on, and then five is right here. So help me try to figure this out, okay? And give me guesses on five and six, because we know we're seven, eight, and nine, no matter how we want to number it. And I'll number it real fast. And they don't really matter, but send in your guesses.
because we found two planets.